up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your source for Sailor Moon news and reviews for the anime and manga, merchandise, and toys that you can purchase in Japan as well as North America. By the way, do you like my new hair? I re-dyed it myself. This is the first time I've ever done my hair at home without going to a professional, so I'm really proud of myself. I used to have it purple, but it completely like soaked through and it was just bleached for forever. So I just decided to stick the purple hair dye on top of the bleach and I think I did a pretty good job so there you go also the curls are natural so today is all about merch news we have a lot of information coming out this month because Usagi the main character of Sailor Moon it's her birthday at the end of the month on June 30th you already heard a little bit about it in my previous news episode but today I'm gonna tell you about the rest of the stuff that was announced this week so first off and I tease this a little bit in my previous episode is a clear tote bag which you can only get at the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku in Tokyo. It is a limited edition bag and it's also a two-in-one apparently. So it has a drawstring bag on the inside and then the pink clear tote is the one that comes on the outside and it looks like you could separate those. So the price is 3,500 yen which is a little bit less than 35 bucks. Release date is going to be the end of July. And then we heard about U Treasure. So U Treasure is a Japanese jewelry brand that advertises tons of different like wedding accessories, lots of rings for people that are getting married, lots of engagement rings, and a lot of them are fandom related. Like I went to their website, they had Pokemon rings on that website. So if you're getting married and you're a big fan of Pokemon, you can get a Pokemon ring. But they also had Sailor Moon ones, so I really can't judge. So if you go over to you Treasure's website, which is all in Japanese, but if you use Google Chrome, it will translate it for you no problem. You'll notice that a lot of these are resales of some previous versions that they had for Sailor Moon jewelry. But they have also announced some new lines of Sailor Moon engagement rings, and these include a Princess Serenity ring, as well as a Moon Castle ring for men and women. These come in a variety of types. For example, there is a K18 white gold as well as pink and regular gold. There is a platinum version and then there is a silver version. So if you're cheap like me, you can get the silver. If you get the really expensive one, they come with diamonds. If you don't, then they come with regular cubic zirconia. Now I have purchased the cosmic heart ring and I decided to go with the silver version of that. So again, it does come with a cubic zirconia, but when it comes in, I'll be able to review that for you. And I believe most of these are coming out in September. Again, these do range in price. Some of them are as expensive as $3,000 USD. Some of them are as cheap as like 250 USD. So it really depends on your price point as far as what you want to buy from them. If you do want to go to the U Treasure website, I used a deputy service so that I could order my ring. However, apparently you can ship some of their products overseas. I just wanted to be on the safe side in case they canceled the order since these are pre-orders and I wanted to go ahead and get my order in so I went with a deputy service instead. The next item is called Sailor Moon Story and it seems to be a children's novel, at least if I'm reading that correctly and translating it correctly, but it looks like it's going to be available in bookstores in Japan for 650 yen starting on June 23rd. But however, if you are overseas like I am, you can order it in CD Japan or Amazon Japan online. If you ended up pre-ordering the Crisis Moon Compact uh, makeup, the Career Beauté line, then those are releasing so expect your product shipments pretty soon and on that makeup front we also got an announcement about a new line from Career Beauté at least it seems to be it's from the Miracle Romance line and these are Starry Sky gold and pink shiny creams so I believe that they are highlighters Hopefully that's correct, but they're a little bit on the pricey side. They're 41.04 yen each, which equates to be like 37 USD or something close to that. So they're rather pricey. I did end up purchasing both the gold and the peak version. So again, I'll be able to review those when they come in. And both of those will be coming out in September along with some of the other pretty things I have on order. Oh man, September is gonna be a really good month. So lastly, on the Japanese merchandise news, we also are getting a pair of plus Again, so we already have five different series or five different versions of these. Uh, Serenity and Endymion are one of those, and these are also releasing in September. So again, September, it's going to be a good month. So the price, it looks like for both of them together, is going to be 39.80 yen, and they look really cute. It looks like their eyes are embroidered, and it looks like they are well put together. So if you're into plushies, 
I don't collect a lot of plushies as you can see behind me, but if you are into plushies, you'll probably want to grab these for yourself. Okay, so if you are a Sailor Moon fan club member in Japan, which is you can get into even if you're international, but most people end up signing up for the international edition, even though that version really doesn't give us a lot of perks. Thanks, Japan. You're so lucky. Seriously, the Japanese fan club gets like all the goodies while we're over here just like waiting for things to ship to us. And we're just like, come on guys, release it to us too. We would really like to get all those figure arts and all of those awesome prints and all of those amazing things that you get invited to. But no, we don't get any of it. Anyway, not throwing shade, but you know how I feel. So if you are a third year member of the Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon fan club in Japan, it looks like this year you get a really cute little extra. It is a Prism Star limited membership chapter thing. I think it's a coin. I'm pretty sure it's a coin. And that is all the information I have on that. For the United States fans, Anime Expo is happening down in LA in just a couple of weeks and y'all are real lucky if you live down in LA because there's a lot of really cool stuff happening for Sailor Moon. First off, a Sailor Moon store pop-up is going to be happening on the vendor floor down there at Anime Expo. Now this is only the second time that this has happened in the United States, so you'll be able to grab, without paying shipping or anything like that, some of the really nice uh, products that they only sell in the Sailor Moon store way back in Harajuku. Also, if you are familiar with the Sailor Moon manga Osabu, which everybody knows and loves, he is going to be there holding a talk. Apparently it happens on Saturday and he's going to be talking about who knows? The website actually says, please expect what kind of story pops out. You can also sign up for the Pretty Guardians fan club right there on the show floor. And I believe there is going to be a t-shirt given away during some kind of contest. Now they did something similar like this to some other previous conventions. So it looks like it'll probably be some kind of scavenger hunt or something like that. And then you get the t-shirt if you collect a certain amount of items or whatever it might be. So good luck to everybody going. Hope you get the awesome pack Pegasus t-shirt that they are giving out down there and I can't wait to see what kind of merch is coming out of Anime Expo. I would love to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm up in San Francisco and it's a lot farther between San Francisco and LA than what a lot of people believe. It's like several several hours so I might not be able to go but if I can I will absolutely report from the show floor. And on the American front we have a couple of merch announcements. First off Black Lady is going to be created into a Funko Pop so if you collect Funko Pop you do not want to miss this one. It's going to be the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. However, there is word going around that she will also be available at certain websites online as well as stores. Uh, Box Lunch has some new socks available and Hot Topic has a rainbow dome top acrylic straw cup, which I don't need because I already got a acrylic straw cup thing that I purchased from eBay, even though it's originally from Korea. And I really like the little Sakura stars. It's so cute. I should not be drinking Frappuccinos. They're so good. You can find those products on their designated websites as usual. And lastly, on the merch front, we also have some announcements for that special birthday party that is happening down in La Forêt in the Sailor Moon store. So the products that they are selling at the Sailor Moon store during the event on June 30th include some products that used to be sold and are no longer easy to find, or if they are, they're sold for like three times the cost. Thank you, scalpers. So these include the Sweet Crisis Moon Macaron Necklace, which is 15,000 yen, and that one used to be sold at Coupot, so they're bringing it back just for this event. There's also the Stallion Love Necklace for 30,000 yen, so a little bit less than $300 for that one, which is much better than the prices that you can find on eBay because that usually goes for $400 to $450 right now. The Stallion Reeve Accessory Case for 21,000 yen, that's about 200 bucks or so. Instruction Ball Eternal Set for 3,500 yen, and the Instruction Ball Kaleido Moon Scope for 2,500 yen. Now again, all of these will only be sold during that event and we can expect to probably see quite a few of those show up on eBay, I'm sure. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Before I forget, I 
I filmed this really cute GameStop mug that features a Sailor Moon's Moonstick on one side and then a little chibi version of her on the other side. Haven't filmed it online yet, but if I do, I'll put it in the links below. And we also have classic concert news. So they released this really pretty art for the classic concert. Last year there was a classic concert and the music from it is amazing. So I highly recommend buying the CD if you can. But this is the classic concert 2018. The image for this is very, very reminiscent of the 1990s anime. So it's really, really pretty art. And it's going to be happening in Tokyo and Osaka. So the dates for that are the 28th and 29th of August in Tokyo and September 7th, 2018 in Osaka. There's also going to be a live performance of the musical happening in France. And apparently that is happening in November. So if you're in France, you can check that out. But also it's going to be happening in Tokyo in August and September. Apparently it's called Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, the super live. I do wish some of these events like the concerts were happening here in North America because I can't afford to go to Japan every year even though I wish I could. I just went last year and I spent all my money so what I have left is being spent on Sailor Moon merchandise. But I am super grateful that they are bringing the Sailor Moon store to conventions in the US, which is super, super cool. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot more merchandise updates throughout the next coming weeks, especially with Usagi's birthday coming up, which is so exciting. Happy birthday, Usagi. So if you're interested in more, make sure to subscribe and check the show notes below for links to where you can pre-order or purchase all these different items. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs, and I hope you really enjoyed this. Comment below on what your favorite item is and anything that you are going to end up ordering. And I think that's about it for today, so Johnny.